Okay, Terry, here it is. This is the uh, tool turret. It's in the lock position right now. You'll, s you know, it's loose on the boards, but it's in the lock position. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and run it at uh, slow speed first. And I'm using G code. And you'll see that it's going to rotate. Uh, approximately 18 times before it starts moving, but it is unlocking it now and you'll hear a click when it gets to the position that it's unlocked and then it's going to rotate to the next position. Uh, I have this 90 degrees and it clicked and now it's going to rotate backwards again uh, approximately 18 turns uh, which is a 133 degrees and you can see it's still loose but when it gets in the fully locked position it's nice and rigid again uh, that's how it operates in slow speed uh, this is how it operates in regular speed you can hear the clicking better in this uh, so hopefully that will help you uh, with the macro. Uh, the G code that I have is pretty simple. It's just uh, G92 uh, A0. Then I got the G01 uh, A233, uh, which is the 90 degrees uh, plus the 133 degrees that it takes to uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, move one position. And then the A90 again, which then uh, moves it back uh, to the lock position. Um, so if you have any questions, um, no problem about uh, calling me or emailing me. Um, I think that you know this is a pretty good turret, uh, and uh, it's just a lot different than the most of the ratchet and paws. But I'm run it one more time so you, again you could probably hear the clicking sound as the paws engage and disengage. Again, it's uh, in the unlocking uh, mode right now. That was the click. Unlocking it. It's rotating 90 degrees at this point next position a little bit beyond it and now it's returning and it's again uh, getting uh, the uh, top of the turret pulled down to the base to lock it and now it's in the lock position and uh, now I'm going to run it in the high speed mode this is how it is going to be a normal operation. So again, uh, if you could help me, I would really appreciate it. Uh, macro was far better than using G-code. Thank you.